Yo, what is good, people? I am back. I'm back with a tan. And I have got some stories to tell you about travel influencers. Now, most people want to be a fashion influencer, but you rarely see people say, I want to be a travel influencer. Now, let me tell you one thing I've learned while I've been away. Travel influencers live the life. Tell you why they live the life? Because they get to see the most beautiful places all around the world and get paid for it. A little bit like this. So in this vlog episode, what we're going to uncover is what is a travel influencer, how to become a travel influencer, and how to find travel influencers. So the first thing, travel influencers. Making money from travel? Surely not. Well, you'd be wrong. Well, what if I told you that not only is this true, but it's also a successful way of sustaining a luxury lifestyle? Now, that sounds pretty appealing to me. From luxury hotels to lavish dinners to landing in remote parts of the world that hardly anybody has seen before. The travel buzz could not be any more desirable. Now this isn't what all travel influencers experience, nor is it what they all desire. However, to be a successful travel influencer, you need to find your niche. In this video, we're gonna unravel the ever-growing trend of travel influencers and how to find these people and also how to become a travel influencer. So you may be wondering, what is a travel influencer? Or for that matter, what is an influencer full stop? Influencers in general are a person or a group of people that are able to influence the decisions of other people through their input. Currently, in 2020, the most popular form of influencing is across social media platforms such as YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram. These platforms are where individuals or groups establish themselves with influence, giving them credibility within specific areas such as travel or maybe even fashion. Of course, travel influencers, well, their credibility is in travel, whether it's recommending luxury destination places, modes of transport, or even remote parts of the world that you've never seen in your life but are definitely one to capture the eye. Academically speaking, there's no specific definition of what is a travel influencer. Now, reading a few threads online, it comes pretty apparent that the general consensus is that travel influencers are those that show high quality short form footage of destinations all around the world to engage and capture their audience. They promote destinations, cultures, as well as partnering up with different brands. And this could be anything from clothing brands on the beach or ski brands in the snow or even brands such as Radisson or Hilton promoting their hotels and luxury places to stay. So how do you go about finding travel influencers? Social media, that's it. It's all about Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and even Pinterest. I know personally that I can spend hours scrolling through these platforms, looking at the most amazing destinations and just getting so excited and even booking a holiday. I mean, if that isn't influencing, I don't know what it is. As we all know, social media is a bit of a wormhole. You look at your own followers. You start going through your news feed. You then go onto a different account. You then look at a hashtag. You then look at a location. Before you know it, you're looking at the most amazing places all around Europe on an account that you've never even discovered. This is why the algorithm on these feeds and the way that discovery system works on things like TikTok and Instagram is so good you can end up from point A to point Z in literally a few clicks. 
I suppose the next thing when you're discovering travel influencers is what interests you. Are you a hiking person? Are you a beach resort? Do you like extreme sports? Do you like the luxury life? Do you wanna see five-star hotels? Or would you rather be in a villa? Finding a niche can often be the best way to do this. And doing this is often best to do through micro-influencers. As we've discussed before, micro-influencers tend to build up a smaller community of loyal followers that engage more with their content. A very niche example might be someone like Twins Perspective. They're a micro-influencer account based here in the UK, and they focus on therapy through travel to solve issues such as mental health. Now, that's a pretty good niche if you ask me. Macro-influencers with huge followings are a really good example of how as a brand, a hotel operator, or anything in between, you can really push your product to an audience. Take Luxury World Traveler. I actually had the privilege of being with the person that runs a Luxury World Traveler account whilst I was in Marbella, and I got a really good insight into how they operate. They literally go all around the world, traveling the most beautiful places, creating the most unbelievable content. Now, they have a big team around them, production quality, drone pilots, you name it, all to create the perfect content to advertise these destinations so that you, the consumer, want to go visit. So I guess when we look at a travel influencer, the number one question to ask is, have you ended up in a wormhole about two years back? And if you haven't, they're probably not the travel influencer for you. Travel influencers get you sucked in and you never want to leave. So are travel influencers actually earning any real money? On the face of it, it looks like travel influencers earn thousands upon thousands of pounds, often living luxurious lifestyles, forever in expensive places, fancy destinations, and living the high life. But it is not easy work. As I just discussed, Luxury World Traveler has a whole crew that comes around with them to record the best quality footage. And whilst they're established, other creators on the other end of the spectrum that are trying to get established, traveling the world often leaves them penniless. However, once established, you can expect to earn some pretty decent money. I mean, a micro-influencer with, say, between 10 to 100,000 followers for travel can earn between 100 to 300 pounds a post. And also, don't forget, they'll also start getting some free accommodation in some pretty decent hotels. Snap after snap after snap, just showcasing their travel experience in different locations in different hotels. Once you build up to be more of a credible creator, let's say maybe half a million to a million followers, this is when the doors get unlocked to some unbelievable experiences. Some experiences that aren't even available to the public. I mean, I know somebody that meditates on a platform overlooking the pyramids in Egypt, where there's only a certain amount of spaces to do this every single week. So maybe you're thinking, why are brands so focused on using travel influencers? Well, snap after snap after snap, they are basically advertising the whole experience of travel. As much as there's room for them to positively promote, there's also a lot of room for them to negatively promote. For example, a really bad airline experience, if that's to a travel influencer, you're going to have a bit of a nightmare on your hands. So brands and influencers, like in any other industry, work hand in hand. They complement each other and it's within the brand's best interest to give the influencer the best experience possible so that they can share that with their audience to encourage people to travel with them if they're an airline or stay with them if they're a hotelier. So in answer, yes, travel influencers can earn some incredible money and they can enjoy seeing the world as they do that. But it all depends on getting that perfect shot. So for us, what we recommend is you need to become an actual content creator. There are plenty of amazing Instagram accounts where you can learn just with your iPhone or other smartphone how to create amazing content that will ultimately allow you to create engaging content that will then be pushed to an audience and entice brands to work with you. So I guess we want to conclude with what is hot right now? Where are the best places that people are going and where does everybody want to be seen? Well, we're coming towards the end of the summer now. For the last three months, floods of Brits have been traveling all around Europe, but Europe is massive, so what are the current trends? Amazingly, Italy is a really big trend at the moment, and in fact, everywhere in Italy. Riding Vespers down coastlines, drinking limoncello on the beach, endless amounts of pasta and pizza sat in front of the Colosseum in Rome, you name it. Italy has sites for days. Personally, one of my favorite places in the world to visit is Florence. If you have never been to Florence, I highly recommend going there. It has the most beautiful architecture and the city is a buzz. The next is Greece. And let's be honest, 
Greece is fucking beautiful. There are so many amazing places that you can go visit in Greece that are away from the hustle and bustle of all those kind of first party with the lads, 18 year olds, in cars, in Malia. Those things are whack. Look at Santorini, Mykonos. You have all these beautiful islands that showcase the best of Greek culture and Greek food. And if you're anything like me, Greek food's pretty banging. So what about beyond Europe? So most of us Brits go to Europe over the summer, but in the winter, we kind of go a bit further afield in search of some winter sun. And I know you know what's coming now, but the Maldives. We see the Maldives everywhere all over social media, whether it's cycling on the walkways across the clear sea, the white sand, or the beautiful little huts that occupy all the individual islands. The Maldives content is a luxury dream that just keeps on giving. But Perhaps the Maldives isn't for you. Perhaps you're looking for something a bit more cheaper, maybe backpacking, traveling around the world, you know, living in hostels, meeting new peoples, enjoying culture as it was meant to be enjoyed. Thailand at the moment is one of the ultimate places for UK travelers. Thailand is not only cheap, but it's full of culture and loads of different experiences that you can see. Whether it's visiting ancient temples, hiking through dense jungles, or enjoying the city life of Bangkok where... Really, you can actually get lost there. So that's it from us today. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. And if you're looking for a travel influencer or some travel inspo, I'm sure you're already scrolling through your social medias now. Or if you want to get involved in doing some travel campaigns, we have plenty on our platform at sosquared.com. Visit the platform, sign up and apply. Speak to you later, guys.